Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, would you like the largest piece of the puzzle to date? To date? To date. Is that the number two or the letter two? Or how do you do to date? What has that got to do with anything? Well, you said to date. I didn't see that there's anything known as to date. I've never heard of that before. Oh, God, it's a legalese phrase. Legalese? What's legalese? I tell you what, why don't you go sit in the corner and I'll come talk to you later about it, okay? I got a video to do. Aww. I'll go ahead and cry again. See what happens. I, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Whew! Um, got some information for you. I think some of you are going to appreciate this. And I think some of you are really going to appreciate it because it's going to give you some ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and talk. You know the police pulled me over the other day? Did they really? Didn't I tell you to go sit in the corner? No, they didn't actually pull me over. We're just doing this as an exercise. So let's just pretend that the police pulled me over yesterday. And when they pulled me over, they gave me a ticket. And it was to go to a particular court. And, 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 and when I go to that court, they're going to exercise jurisdiction over me. Because they are supposed to be government. Yeah? Well, what, what, what of it? Hold on one second. Let me go take care of that person. One second, y'all. Because uh, I, I, I ain't got time. Oh, God. This is this advertisement stuff. I got to get this junk out of here so that it'll stop bothering me. Let me get to my my window. Winder. That's what I should be saying. Winder. Not well. Winder. Uh-oh. I can't get to it. There we go. Whew. I got to get it to show up again. Where you at? Come on now. I got I, give me a second y'all it, it's hiding from me and I don't know where it is be one second you just gotta love the system there we go who disappeared on me now ladies and gentlemen I got Brian Adams in my background he's talking about not to tell him something cuz he can't help it Um. He talks about fighting and all of that stuff because you know it's true because the only thing he does, he does it for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while he's in the background, that's what I play for dogs 24 hours a day. They're listening to something. When I leave, they're listening to something. Giving them something to occupy their minds, as you can hear, I can do these videos all day long. You don't hear them in the background. Now, they know how to bark. But they don't bark. They're a little arf, arf. No, don't, don't work. Uh, the only time that you will hear them barely is when they're asking me to give them some more spray bottle, which is what I'm doing now. What they appreciate, and you should see. Oh, it's so adorable. How they just sit up there and just take in the water like it's... Uh, the most refreshing thing they've ever experienced. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to get this to pull up, so give me a moment. I'll be right back, okay? Because everything I do, you know, is for me. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Brian Adams, y'all. One second. Y'all, he says he will die for you. Now, this is called DMB Hoovers. Ladies and gentlemen, I could have gotten the other one, but uh, I needed the information that's on Hoovers. So, what we're going to do is the first company that we should be pulling up is a court for an entire state. The reason why we're pulling up the one for the state is, sorry, I have to turn on the fan on me. Uh, they have all of the fans on them, and I had another one that's sitting behind me. And so I need some air blowing on me. So they blowing air on me through this fan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what you all need to understand is we are using Hoover's because there are two things we get to prove that the courts are a corporation but this is not the only thing we're proving we already know they're corporations they have a Dun & Bradstreet number or a dunce number that's not the only thing that they have they have a corporate structure and it shows all of their affiliates and it shows the amount of money being reported per year this is an actual account that costs five thousand five hundred dollars per year to have access to 
that's what we are paying for this site. What we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, let me, while this is pulling up, let me show you. We're going to go here and we're going to show you two things. The first thing I'm going to show you is this one here. A corporation is a creature of statute, not a creature of the Constitution. Go back and take a look at the Constitution. It says nothing about corporations. So when they say corporations are persons too, the Constitution was not considering corporations when it talked about person. You cannot arrest a corporation. Go ahead and try. I dare you. Anyway, acquiring its existence and authority to act from the state, the executive branch. Some of you are getting it. Ladies and gentlemen, if the courts are corporations, if the police department are corporations, private corporations though they are, they are creatures of state, they're part of the executive branch, the courts cannot be a part of the executive branch. I apologize. Separation of powers prohibit the courts from being part of the executive branch. So it is impossible for the courts to be operating as a corporation. Do you know that all corporations must have articles in corporation or bylaws or a charter? See, the charter of the corporation consists of articles in corporation. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I pulled this one up because it says, pay attention, where is that case at? Where, oh, Guam. Okay, this, these are basics in law. These are fundamental principles. So the thing that we're pulling up now, let me, um, we're going to put something right here for y'all. Where the state or the United States creates or organizes a corporation and operates the same for commercial purposes, it is ordinarily held subject to suit the same as any private corporation organized for the same purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as they are doing corporate business, they can be sued. Okay? As long as they are doing corporate business, they can be sued. Corporate commercial business. Okay? We, we don't care about no students wearing helmets. We care about this statement, which is why we don't have to copy the entire case. Why? Because let's look at this statement. For example, where the state creates or organizes a corporation and operates the same for commercial purposes is automatically held subject to suit the same as a public cor uh, corporation organized for the same purpose. It's the same kind, ladies and gentlemen. This is a basic and standard principle. That's why we can use it. Transactions of business of a business nature it is normally treated as a private corporation. Look, the county is a corporation which has the power to hold property and money. When it transacts a, in a business nature, it is normally treated as a private corporation. This is the police department. See, the county is a municipal subdivision of the state and it is charged with certain governmental and administrative functions. Guess what they cannot do? The county cannot enact laws, ladies and gentlemen. They're a corporation. They're a private corporation. The county is a corporation which has powers to hold property and money. It's a corporation. It cannot enact laws. Look, the county is a municipal subdivision of the state charged with. Now, this is District of Oregon. And the same one says the exact same thing. Let's see if we can find another. Rather, for these purposes, it is considered as an ordinary foreign business corporation. What? Amendment is finding that it is not a state or government organization. As such, it is not entitled to services under blah, 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 blah. The business of taxpayer is for profit and must be treated as any other business corporation. Pay attention. The business of a taxpayer, ladies and gentlemen, as long as you are listed as a taxpayer, that means you're making a profit. Definitely take down this case right here. The business of a taxpayer is for profit and must be treated as any other business corporation. So if you do not believe that when you're filing as a taxpayer, you're filing as a corporation, they just told you. By the way, I did not go over this one prior to doing this video. So I am just as shocked as you are. Are you shocked? 
Oh, I'm so shocked. Oh, God, I'm so shocked. It's like the police tasing me like they did last week. Oh, that's how shocked I am. I think I'm even more shocked than then because I'm still jumping in gibberish ever since they did it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think you guys understand what I'm trying to say here. So give me just a moment to paste this comment right here. Okay, I just got to paste it. Yeah, paste it. Let a be a young woman. Uh oh, it looks like it wants to take its time pasting. I don't think the algorithm appreciates me putting this information together. Ladies and gentlemen, SACOM has already told you that it will be charging $125 to pull up as much information about the corporate entity, be it the police department or the, pay attention, the court. No matter what they are, no matter what entity they are, especially if they are a county entity, whether they are a county superior court, doesn't matter. We pull up the information showing that they are an ordinary corporation. And as you saw, as long as they're engaged in commercial business of any kind, I apologize. You hear that static? That's because my voice is at several octaves higher than what the computer can handle. They are not allowed to engage in commercial business. Once they engage in commercial business, the same for commercial purposes, it is ordinarily held subject to suit the same as a private corporation organized for the same purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, that means that you don't need their permission. Why? Because once they engage in commercial business, they waive any and all sovereignty willingly. You don't need their permission to sue them. You sue them as a private corporation, and when you sue them, guess what you do? You get their bylaws and their charter, which shows that they are a private corporation. You get their comprehensive annual financial reports, which shows that they are a private corporation, and you ask for a trial by jury. That way, when a judge says that it is nonsensical, it is gibberish, it is gobbledygook, then you say, thank you, your ignorance, because I needed a controversy. That shows that I have stated a claim whereby relief can be granted because you just created a controversy, which is a matter for the jury to decide because I've asked for a jury. Now get off that bench and let a jury sit there. Figuratively speaking, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you guys need to understand. A municipal corporation is but a creature of the state, existing under and by virtue of the authority and power of granted by the state the executive branch the courts cannot be under the executive branch the courts cannot be corporations is anybody paying attention to this the courts cannot be corporations and be under the pay attention judicial branch of government impossible now the reason why this case is so important is because it's america's, america's jurisprudence Okay, in slight contrast, a charitable corporation is any corporation or organization founded upon donations and engaged without profit in charitable activities and for no other, where are we at? Where are my charitable activities? Why y'all do that, American jurisprudence? It's right here again, but I wanted that one. Ah, look at that. It's just giving me a hard time, y'all. They don't want me to tell y'all this. Ladies and gentlemen, anytime they're operating as a corporation, even for charitable purposes, they're still a corporation. A corporation acquiring its existence and authority to act from the state, and as such is a creature of statute. Well, look, government is not a creature of statute. Government is a creature of the will of the people, not of anybody's statute. Oops, my bad. Okay, see? Donations and engaged without profit for charitable activities and in no other activities of commercial or gainful nature. Moreover, the basic requirements of a nonprofit, public benefit, and all that junk. But again, we just read where their authority and existence comes from. They're a creature of the state. I know you know about Redfield versus Fisher, but ladies and gentlemen, this is Redfield versus Fisher times 46. These are 46 different cases where they say the same thing. You use something like this to show that this is a general understanding of all of the courts. So we don't need to argue this. This is an admissions. This is a fact. They cannot argue facts. Nobody can argue a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, hold on. This one I like. It says the forfeiture or dissolution of a corporation cannot be claimed 
in a collateral proceeding merely because the grounds for forfeiture may exist. The ordinarily, excuse me, ordinarily forfeiture or dissolution may be declared in a judicial proceeding instituted for that purpose. Citation, citing authorities. Such suits, in the absence of any express statute, to the contrary, can be instituted only by the state. You cannot sue to dissolve a corporation. Only the state can. Another corporation cannot, unless it has been given authority by the state to act on the state's behalf. Okay, so what's trying, what are we trying to say here? Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest thing that I am trying to get across to all of you, I don't even know why this is up here. We, I didn't even pull you up. Get on out of here. I'll be with you in a second. Judicial Branch of Connecticut, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the corporate family. Shall we go to the corporate family? Now, each one of these is a full report. We can pull up everything regarding this court, financially, including their... They're, 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 sometimes there's a possibility of pulling up their EIN number. Okay, let's see if the EIN number is here. No, but the... Look, trade name, Connecticut Judiciary Branch Law Library at Putnam. Law Library at Putnam. Okay, their, their judiciary branches at the law library. Now that's interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, right now it's pulling up the corporate structure. All of the different corporations that's within this corporation. So let's see if this is going to work. This works for police departments. This works for municipal agencies. This works for everyone. Especially those who claim that they're government. Remember, the government cannot engage in commerce. Are you guys aware of that? Or do you need me to keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it? Repeat, repeat, repeat. Government cannot engage in commerce. It's illegal. So how do you shut down a case? Ladies and gentlemen, you want to know the truth? Every case I've ever shut down is by bringing up the information about them being a corporation. Did the same thing in my case. And I don't, look, I'm a dog with a bone. I don't let it go. I don't care how much you try to yank it and pull it from me. I'm going to sit up there and let you know. Mother, we're talking about a corporation. You still ain't answered my question. Oh, you should have seen it yesterday. I was talking with a supervisor, and she called me up, and she asked me something, and I, I got on her. I said, excuse me, did you have me on speakerphone? Why is it that you have me on speakerphone? For what reason am I on speakerphone? And that was the conversation. Well, I just wanted to blah, 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 and my name is blah, blah. I said, I could care less about what your name is. I asked you a question. Answer my question. That was the conversation. I wasn't trying to be mean. I wasn't trying to be derogative. But if you're going to have me on speakerphone, usually that means somebody else is listening to the conversation. If somebody else is listening to the conversation, I have a right to be informed. She assured me nobody was listening to the conversation, but she was working from home and she had me on speakerphone. Well, the problem is I had her on speakerphone. But the, the issue is if somebody else is listening, I have the right to know. Even if they claim I don't have the right to know, somebody else is listening to the conversation that's called a recording. You have the right to know if your call is being recorded, why the other person is listening. It's a listening device, and so it's a recording. They are taking the information in mentally. They are recording what I'm saying. I have a right to know if I am being recorded by any device. And not just, well, we monitor and record all calls, you know, for customer service and everybody else in their grandmama's situations. Okay, I'm looking for, there's a court in Connecticut called Fairfield. And I'm looking for that one, and I think it might be fair. There's infield. What about the outfield? I mean, you have a fair field, you have an outfield, do you have a contestable field? Ladies and gentlemen, do not mind him. Um, he's tired just like I am. I've got a lot of fatigue lately. And this, this usually happens with heat, but this year, this heat and this fatigue is a little bit different. You got COVID. I ain't got no COVID. I already done had COVID. Yeah, they say this one's a different COVID than the previous weather field. Ooh, we they got all kind of fields over in the field. They got all kind of fields over there in the field. That don't make no sense. Well, just like weather field doesn't make any sense, and Waterford doesn't make any sense. Bridgeport? Why does anybody want to use a port as a bridge? Lord have mercy. 
ladies and gentlemen, it's moving kind of slow, and I'm just looking for the one, but this is all of the different counties and locations of the courts, of the judiciary, and we pull all of it. We document all of it. Why? Because this shows that the whole system is not judicial, but administrative. Remember, the state, the executive branch, controls corporations. They're the ones who, what do you call it, uh, charter corporations into existence. Okay, without the state, the corporation doesn't exist. That's why they all have to be registered. The Bristol Hotel. Anyway, they all have to be registered with the state. Okay, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. Okay, I'm going to have to call somebody and ask them a little bit more about Kentucky. Because I should have come across Fairfield right now. You know, by way before now. Because some of these are repeating themselves. And so I'm disheartened it that the name of the court is fell fair the fair 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 field that's all folks and so it's got to be in one of these other counties and fairfield is probably a city and not a county so because it is a county court it probably is a city see there's litchfield they should have just put an n there and called it lynchfield you know it's connecticut come on now um no, I'm sorry. I, I'm not saying that nobody was ever hung in Connecticut. Yeah, they were. No, they weren't. This is the United States. The United States would never hang a person. They would leave it up to the Iraqis to do that. Didn't you see what they did when they were getting rid of Saddam? Instead of letting him linger in jail, they said, we're going to hang this mother... Yep. Did they hang him? I don't know. Maybe he's still alive since he was one of those elites. Um... You know, maybe still alive, living on some island or something under guard. We don't know, because, you know, he was found in a cell. You know, like they said, don't push him because he's close to the edge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can't find what I'm looking for, but at least you can see here the extent of the judicial courts of the state of Connecticut. The judicial branch, see, judicial court of the state of Connecticut, judicial branch, comma, state of Connecticut. So this is the state of Connecticut judicial branch. You notice that there's a comma here, but there is no comma here. But for judicial branch state of Connecticut, there is a comma. Interesting, ain't it? That comma shows you exactly who they be. So I think it's in another city. And I think Fairfield, I will find it under a different one. Give me a second. Let me, 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 let me go call somebody and get that information because I got people I can call. Yeah, I, I can call somebody. One second, y'all. Yeah, what's happening is that I'm doing a video right now showing people. So because Fairfield is a county, but it's associated with Bridgeport, I can now find the court, put that information together. And then I, eventually I'll get that to you, okay? Yes, thank you, yeah. All right, we will talk. Yeah, they, yeah, they haven't sent that to either. So Don't worry about that. it. We'll, we'll talk, okay? Yeah, thank you. All right, goodbye. goodbye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you'll, many of you will find I'll do the same thing to you. You'll want to talk, and I won't let you talk because I ain't got time. I wasn't calling the person to have a conversation. I was calling the person because I needed to get information. So I asked specific questions to get the information I need. Oh, that's so selfish. You better believe it's selfish. I ain't got time for y'all. Don't y'all understand? Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, she gave me the information I needed. Bridgeport. Bridgeport is where this court is. Well, we can prove that the court is a corporation. Now, I'm not working with this court for the person that I'm doing the motion for. I'm helping her because she lives in the same city as or the same state as three other people that I'm aware of and two of them I'm helping. Okay, but because Connecticut is a court system I'm unfamiliar with, I can pull up their junk. I can prove their corporation. And I can, the moment they open their mouths to challenge me, I say, disprove this, mother... You feel me? The parent, judicial court of the state of Connecticut. Well, how could the judicial court, this is the judiciary 
courts of the state of Connecticut. Interesting, because that's not the one I clicked on. Okay, that's interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> wait, hold on a second. Woo wee! Now, I clicked on Bridgeport and Waterbury, Connecticut, okay? But I clicked on Bridgeport, and this is Bridgeport, but I want y'all to understand something for a second, okay? They are listed as judiciary courts of the state of Connecticut. Look at there. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Uh, USA Digit SIC, don't care about that. Uh, court justice and public safety. Oh, God, you got to safety the public, okay? Look, trade style, probate court. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Do you guys understand? They're handling trust. Probate court handles trust. Now, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't understand this, probate court handles trust. They are handling trust. We've already established that as a taxpayer, you are a corporation because a taxpayer engages in commercial business. That's why the IRS left me alone all of those times because I told them I was a non-taxpayer and demanded that they prove that I was a taxpayer. You can only be a taxpayer if you call yourself a taxpayer and those forms are for taxpayers. So what I'm going to tell you guys, you're not going to understand it, but you will get it. Sorry, I have my head turned away from the computer because I'm spraying the dogs down because they're telling me they want to be sprayed. And so they all just came over and it's a routine. Like I said, if you notice, you don't really hear them. That was just them letting me know, hey, we want some water. They're not drinking water other than from the mother these days. But they like the water and the fan blowing on them. I don't know. It was just an idea I had one day when it got very hot. And so they've gotten used to it. And the mist, they actually love that. And I think it's because the water on the fur and the wind blowing through it, I think that that operates as an air conditioning for them. And they appreciate being cool. Because it's not cold water. I wouldn't do that to them. Hold on one second. I thought that was the mother doing that, but that's one of them. Because that's what she normally does. Uh, it was a little type of a whine. Um, so I thought it was the mother, but it is not. It's them. The mother's asleep. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Judiciary Court of the State of Connecticut is primarily engaged in civil courts of law. Civilians. Ladies and gentlemen, it's okay if you're a civilian. You can be handled by these courts because we're under military occupation. So all the courts have to be civilian courts. But they're executive because they're all corporations. So ladies and gentlemen, what we will do for people is we'll provide them the proof that it's a corporation. Now this operates as preponderance of evidence when we provide all of the records. Now the first thing I do, like let's say this court for this young lady, I'm going to pull up this report. Now this is... This is a little bit of a hectic process right here. Because I'm going to pull up everything. Not just a couple of things. I'm pulling up all. I just have to wait for it to catch up to me because I've already clicked. That's why you see the hand flickering. I've already clicked on everything. I just got to wait till it to go over to the third box. So we're almost there. Come on now. And once it gets over to that third box, ladies and gentlemen, then I click on Get Report. But we're moving slow. Whoa, this has, you all may not get this, this has several different things in here, more so than what I'm normally used to seeing. Okay, so we're going to pull up the report. And I'm glad and I'm grateful because it's all of this information right here. The one I have to pull up is the one for the United States government. Okay, that's my friend, because that lists all of the courts, that lists the Congress, that lists the Supreme Court, that lists all of the courts underneath it. The U.S. government proving it's a corporation is the easiest thing with Dun & Bradstreet. So we're going to be charging $125 for the information. It's not just the information. You can get the information just about any place. It's just to get it all in one place is the difficult part. Here's the thing. 
pay attention, somebody would have to sit back and look for everything. See, not just look for that court, but we have to look for the superior court, the so-called wannabe supreme court. Now, I like this, but this shouldn't be here right now. I want the PDF. But this is pulling up the actual document, and I don't understand that. That is the front page of the document, ladies and gentlemen. That's that one right there. I'm a little surprised that that showed up that way. Oh, well. I, I never paid attention to it before. So, okay. The first thing we do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to put it to you like this. By the way, this document, I'll try to put it up today. I'll put it in the, um, and it's called, A Corporation is a Creature of the State. That's the name of this document. It will be under the SACCOM PDF section. And let's do that now while I'm, let's save it. So give me a second for this document, I mean this thing to pull up. But here's the thing, let's say it's a police department and they pull you over, well, the police department have no jurisdiction as a corporation. You guys understand that, right? So the police department cannot be a corporation. See, the executive branch cannot give a private corp... Shh! Don't tell them that. Wait a minute, that's the truth. The, 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 the executive branch doesn't have power to give a private corporation policing powers? Over, over the people? The, the executive branch don't have that kind of power. How the executive branch going to give Walmart the power to arrest somebody? But, but, but you can't tell that to people. What? Because they're going to start saying it out loud. Okay, so what? They say it out loud. It's the truth. Now we can prove it. Yeah, but they're not going to let you. It ain't about them letting. That's where you do the appeal, and that's where you keep hitting them in the head until you get to the white meat. Ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to put you in jail. They're trying to take your property from you. And they're doing it all because they're corporations and they're using corporate charters to do this, which has nothing to do with you. But you don't realize that they're bringing you in there as a creature of the state. Because they have created a franchise, a corporation. You don't have to prove that. You just have to do yourself a favor, operate under a trust. All of you sat packers, that's what we were doing for you. If you didn't understand it, I keep saying you have the EIN number, start operating through the corporation only. Put everything in the corporation. Put you in the corporation, all your property, put it in the corporation. And make that trustee responsible for handling the affairs of the corporation. That way he can speak on behalf of the corporation. And bring this to the attention of the court. Say, no, I uh, have the right to be before a constitutional government I don't have the right to be before a uh, executive branch administrative government so I'm gonna exercise a right that is secured by the Constitution not a constitutional right a right that is secured the Constitution secures your right like Tupac secured Okay, it secures your right. I ain't never said Tupac secured before, but I understand it. Okay, it secures your rights, ladies and gentlemen. Either you, pay attention, are going to have your rights secure and you're going to exercise them, or you guys are going to keep losing. You want to drive around with no license plate? Don't do that without understanding what you're doing. The police don't have any authority to impound your vehicle unless they have authority over the vehicle. What is the number one authority police gets over, over vehicles? All of those numbers on the vehicles, they are registered with the DMV. So contact the DMV, demand a copy of the MSO. Contact the original manufacturer of the vehicle, whether it be Honda, Toyota, demand a copy of the MSO. Manufacturer certificate of origin. A certified copy, ladies and gentlemen, not just a copy. You want a certified copy. Take that certified copy, acknowledge it, and accept it, and create a grant deed over that property. With that certified copy and your creation of that grant deed, you file that on the record. It is property. Doesn't have to be land property to be recorded. 
with the affidavit and you are filing an affidavit of ownership attach your certificate of live birth and file that on the county record don't add all of that junk just keep it simple people now if somebody wants to pull you over you show them that you have a loyal title because that's exactly what it is because that's what your affidavit says is that this is a loyal title you got a document that has the seal and if it's coming from China, Japan, doesn't matter where the car was manufactured, you have that seal. That seal is prima facie evidence of ownership. It supersedes the Department of Motor Vehicles. That's why you take your vehicle off the vehicle rolls. Okay? But you have to take care of that first before you move your vehicle from the vehicle rolls. That's my opinion. My opinion! Okay. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a court case, $125, you're not making a profit for us. You're helping us pay off that $5,500 uh, payment that we're making for Dun & Bradstreet. We didn't get that for us. We got that for you guys so that we could be able to prove that these idiots are corporations. I just so happen to have been looking up this case law for the case because of how I'm doing the case. It is gonna be the most extensive and the most detailed suit that I've ever brought. And because of that, I did all of the outline first and now I just have to fill in the blanks. And I decided to look this up, but I didn't look it up like I normally would and I found some jewels. So let me show you one last jewel before we... These are not the jewels I'm talking about. They need to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go down here. And I want you all to know, uh, just like that Will Smith thing, apparently they didn't appreciate the way he conducted himself. And so now they're making him pretend, okay, to take back what he was saying. Okay, um, sorry, uh, Chris Rock, talk about my wife in the front of millions of people on a worldwide audience. You better be glad that's all he got was slapped. I, 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 I'm supposed to be peaceful among all mankind, but I promise you, whoa, wait, that's a whole lot of peacemaking because I would have given him a piece of my mind. Okay, there would have been an altercation. What? The woman has apresia. And because she has the hair loss disease, that man has to wake up and go to bed next to that woman all the time. He has to see the look on her eyes, the look in her face. Sorry, what is a woman? If you look at the scriptures, a woman is known for the, her beauty and her hair. That's why Paul speaks of men having long hair. For a woman, it's a, it's a crown, it's an adornment, it's a head covering. And so when this man humiliated her with that stupid joke, he got pimp slap like he was supposed to be. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Which was as fake as you could possibly be. Will Smith trained as Muhammad Ali for the movie Ali. And he plants his left foot to swing with his right hand? Ladies and gentlemen, no. <laughs> and he went through extensive training. They did videos. They showed us the training the man went through. There's no way in the world you plant your left foot and swing with your right. Takes you. Just try it. Just try swinging with all of your might off your left foot and being right-handed. And see if that doesn't throw you. See if you don't stumble and go back and look at that and see Will Smith did not stumble. Why? Because he pulled back at the last minute. Just go back and watch it in slow motion. I, hey, I told you I can see it in slow motion when it's happening. I don't know how that works. I just know that that's the way my mind sees things. And the moment I saw it, which was two days later, I knew it was fake. It didn't add up. He planted his left foot. That's the first thing I saw is how his stance, 
his his stance should have been because you know when somebody's getting ready to box that right foot goes down first you always plant your right foot first if you're right-handed if you're left-handed you plant your left foot first he planted his left foot and swung with his right that lets me know that that was set up staged and yes as uh what's his name cat williams as he says over and over and over and over and over and over again these are actors he says they practice that and practice that and practice that and they know psychological reactions and so they played this for that reaction but will smith when he cried after giving that acceptance speech i told you he wasn't crying because he slapped chris rock on television he cried because of his reputation because he knew that this would ruin his reputation he knew that the powers that be didn't care about his reputation and so now they're making him come back and apologize and blah 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 all over again uh-uh see everybody keeps asking did will smith apologize to chris rock let me ask you a question now i do uh, jehovah's witnesses are doing an assembly and it's called the uh, pursue peace assembly and so i believe that there should be pursuing a peace i don't believe that the two people should be at odds with each other nor do i believe he should have literally hit him honestly but however being as it is that it has happened shouldn't chris rock be apologizing to jada no 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 just just answer the question if you say no that he didn't do anything wrong then satisfied that's the answer to the question and we're gonna get back to this now okay because ain't nobody said nothing about him apologizing to jada because everybody hates jada for what what did jada ever do to y'all but everybody hates her that means he had a right to talk about her that's like saying because that woman was in that dress she deserved to be raped that's that's the type of stupidity that is ladies and gentlemen let's go to trenton the city of trenton this is a case heard by the united states of america in 1992 pay attention the court then listed a long line of precedents establishing that a municipality a municipality that's right a municipality as a department of the state remains a creature of the state exercising and holding powers and privileges subject to the will of the people the people are the sovereign the people as a collective group are the sovereign <laughs> ladies and gentlemen all right all right all right i told you okay there you go there's your water y'all heard him that's them asking me for more water that's enough but that's it that's all you're gonna get that's all you're gonna get we'll talk in a minute that's our routine but again i do these videos you don't even hear them in the background but that one was getting fed up because I wasn't paying it any attention. And so there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I highlighted this because they said a municipality. See, a municipality, okay? A municipality, that's right, the, pro the pronunciation of municipality. A municipality, Washington, D.C. is a municipal corporation. Los Angeles is a municipal corporation. The state of California is a municipal corporation. So even cities and states, ladies and gentlemen, lose their sovereignty when they act as a corporation and you don't need to get permission to sue. And guess what? The 11th Amendment does not come into play. Say what? They're not sovereign as corporations. They cannot be, as long as they engage in commercial business, they are not sovereign. Now watch this. After the creation of a State Industrial Accident Commission, the original predecessor of the SAIF Corporation, in 1913, the commission defended against an appeal of a rejected compensation claim on the grounds that the commission is an arm of the state and could not be sued. The court noted that the legislator had expressly provided that the commission in its name may sue and be sued and continue superfluously that the commission was given other powers exercised by a corporation it is a creature of the legislator and it is a body corporate uh oh when a petition for rehearing argued the characterization of the commission as a corporation would make its creation unlawful under article 11 
Section 2, the court responded without further explanation that the Workmen's Compensation Act was not a special act, but a general statute of the state. See, it said without explanation. That's all the court responded to. They are a corporation. They are controlled by statute. That's what the court was saying. Mecklenburg County, that's in North Carolina. Okay, y'all just need to understand, these are all corporations. The courts are corporations. That's why you keep losing, because you're before the wrong body. So the letter I did for you guys to send to the Supreme Court, the letter I did for you guys to send to the Supreme Court, the letter I did for you guys to send to the Supreme Court, the letter I did for you guys to send to the Supreme Court, go ahead and attach this to it. Okay, because I know y'all ain't did it yet. I know y'all ain't did it yet. So go ahead. I'm going to save it. Watch this. See, save, save, save. Save, save, save what you want, but don't leave me to my direction. Take, take, take. Oh, stop. Okay, I'll stop. We're going to go here. And we got to go to PDF. There we go, right there. PDF, that's, 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 we're going to put in there a legal understanding. Remember, it's called a corporation is a creature of the state. We're going to put it in a promissory note because y'all dealing with corporation. Okay, corporation is a creature of the state. So give me a second because I have to find it. Because it ain't, it ain't where you think it is. It's all over the place. So we're going to go, let's go up here. Because I forgot where I saved it. I think it's in docs i think it's here let's go here let's let's try that i think it's there because this is where i put all the new docs now so i'm not searching all over my computer so give it a second we'll pull it up and then i'll let you guys go because see there it is corporation 5 p.m hey ladies and gentlemen it's 5 p.m i gotta shut this thing down um because i've been using a lot of energy lately so i gotta this thing gobble gobble gobbles so I'm going to go watch a couple of movies and then I'll start working on that uh, lawsuit tomorrow. And then we'll start doing videos talking about what we're getting ready to do in the suit we're getting ready to do for homeowners. Okay? I promise you it's never been done before, especially the way we're about to do it. And we are not going to be tiptoeing. Okay? I ain't got time. I'm not, I, I'm not in the tips. I'm not in the towing. Because, I, I, you know, towing, you can leave it up to those towing companies to do that. But I, I ain't no towing company. I ain't no drag on the economy. So it's called, the document is called, a corporation is a, and it's a word document. That's how you know. Okay? It's there for you guys. It's nothing but current case text. Now you hear her? And that's a her. Yeah, what? All right, there's your water. Now leave me alone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to go and give these dogs my time. You see how they're getting frustrated because I have been talking to y'all for 40 minutes and they're sitting up there. They're tired of sleeping. See, they, they are no longer sleeping 20, 24 hours a day. Now they're sleeping about 15 hours a day. So I let them have their freedom, but it's time to bring their mother in because they're telling me also that they're hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I got to keep them separated because she still lies on top of them. So to keep that from happening, we have this routine. But see, the unique thing is there won't be no waning of the animals from the mother. Okay, because if you hear, there is no whining because the mother's not around. They're just hungry. And that's actually a good thing. I wasn't trying to do that, but I'm glad it worked out that way because I've had a dog that wasn't waned from its mother properly and God I had to give them away I had to give them away because I couldn't keep him where I was because he was all night long and I was at work most of the day so he was waking people up and I had to get up to work at four o'clock in the morning so if you can imagine five six seven eight o'clock in the morning waking everybody up Ooh, a lot of complaints let's go here got we're gonna do one more y'all we're going to do one more, one more case for y'all so y'all can see what's going on. Such a corporation, it is pointed out, is a political subdivision of the state government which derives its existence and power from the state. 
Hence, it is within the power of the state to direct its agencies to pay any just and equitable claim, even though it would not otherwise be enforceable in a court of law. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't want courts of law. We want courts. Judicial empowered courts, not courts of law, because their courts are their courts of case law, their courts of administrative law, their courts of legislative law. We want courts of the law of the land, and they, they don't exist in the way we're going to the courts at this point. Hopefully, this will be understandable. So my suggestion is you start challenging jurisdiction and you start putting on the record their corporate structure that they are corporations and you do it in such a way that it is outlined and it shows that they're corporations. See, I want you to take a look at this one last time. You see all the blue area? See, not everything is in blue. Well, what's happening, let my computer catch up because right now it's still trying to catch up to my movements and it gets on my nerves when it does this because it's saying, look, son, we're going to do what we want to do. See, this is black this is blue oh my goodness it's black and blue okay so ladies and gentlemen what you're gonna see is this is the highlighted area this is the area for you to focus on but the italics is the main meat so a corporation is a creature of sovereign power a corporation is a creature of the executive branch and that's what they're not telling you all corporations are organized and created by the executive branch the charter of a corporation consists of its articles of incorporated taken in connection with the law under which it is organized. Ladies and gentlemen, now you can subpoena the articles of incorporation for the court, the articles of incorporation for the police department, the articles of incorporation, pay attention, for the county, board of supervisors, commissioners, whomever they are. Now you can subpoena their articles of incorporation or their charter which they will not be able to refuse you because you've just documented that they are a corporation, including the police department. A private corporation cannot represent the state. You guys understand that, right? A private corporation cannot represent the state. There is no authority for the state to give its power to a private corporation. There is no authority for the state to give its power to a private corporation. That shuts the case down right there. Because they can only act where there is authority to act. Don't take my word for it. Let's. That's the last thing we're going to do. And I'm going to let y'all go, okay? Watch this. Uh, let, we'll do it this way. Come on now. Slide on over. I'm trying to select everything and it won't let me. So... Watch this. A G E N C Y O N L O A C T W H E R E T H E R E A U T H O R I T Y two A C T. Just gotta wait for it to catch up to me. TikTok. TikTok, we ain't got all day. Come on now. This is the algorithm, the AI system messing with us. This is what it does. I've gotten used to it and I don't care anymore. Okay? If you don't know about the different AI systems that are competing with each other, do your research on the AI systems, including artificial intelligence, intelli and uh, blah, 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 blah. artificial intelligence may be alive. Go ahead and type in artificial intelligence may be alive, may be sentient. Now watch this, ladies and gentlemen, because remember, I just typed it in. A state officer can claim to be acting as an agent of the state only where such authority has been conferred by law. The government cannot give a private corporation policing power over the people. A state agency only has authority expressly provided by statute or necessarily implied to carry out the express powers of the legislature have given it. It cannot do so with private corporations. The army can hire private corporations overseas, but they cannot do so within the state. Government cannot be private, people. 
Government cannot be private, people. You must understand, government must always be public. Because they represent whom? The public. Government can never be private. I apologize. It's hard for me to say all of these things thinking that you all understand what I'm talking about. You see, sometimes I speak as if I'm speaking to a court or to lawyers, and I realize many of you are not lawyers, so sometimes I will have to explain it in such a way and then go a little bit beyond so that you guys get it. The State Department agencies only have limited power to contract, which is delegated to them by state legislature. So the agencies of the state have limited power to contract. Okay, that's why we did our contracts with the Attorney General. Oops, because it has the absolute authority to contract on behalf of the United States. Uh oh. So that's just me putting in there so that you guys can see that state agency. So you saw me put the document up, and that's it. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. We got one more thing. No, we're not going to take you on no place else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and add it to that document. Okay. So now you're going to, we're going to replace that document before I finish this video. So that way you'll know where it is. It's satcom911.com forward slash PDF sis PDFS all capital letters. And when you go to satcom911.com forward slash PDFs, you look for the first folder, which is a understanding, legal understanding. And when you get to a legal understanding, the only thing you do after that, after you pass a legal understanding, you go to the ninth floor, and then you're going to go to the first doorway on your, no, you get to a legal understanding, ladies and gentlemen, and this document will be right there. It's called, A Corporation is a Creature of the State. Uh, let's do this. There's a mistake here. I thought it copied and it didn't. So what I'm going to do is because I need to make this different. So we're going to make that red. And we're going to bing, 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 bing. So that you'll notice that it's a difference. It's a difference because you got to make a difference. Got to make a change. Not there. Who's that to? Oh, sorry. We're going here. That's a consult. And come on now, hurry up. West mother, west side mothers. Uh-oh, that's a gang. I, they're gang affiliated, huh? West side? Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> This is getting on my nerves. All right, it'll be up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Y'all get on what you're getting on and have a good day. We done, we done talked about everything we need to talk about, so I'm going to end this.